So what are we all about? What is our message? We, are, we have a message called transformation. We are in the world, but not of the world. And our message is, we'll go to you. In other words, we are missional. God is a missional God. So we will go to you. We will befriend you, understand you, meet your needs, and ultimately, we'll be the best friend by sharing you the greatest news, the news of salvation in Jesus Christ. If we can do that, God promises this, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. If we can do this, the blessing of God will come upon us and we'll have a great future and great hope. Now, look at this. We are not against culture. Are we against culture? No. <laughs> are we trying to be a subculture? Definitely not. Definitely not. Are we just like culture? No. So what are we? We embrace a holy Counterculture. A holy counterculture. Everybody say holy counterculture. I know that's a mouthful. Let's try it again. Holy counterculture. Turn to your neighbor and say, We embrace holy counterculture. Say to three people, We embrace holy counterculture. So to be in the world and not of the world means we are there fiscally, but morally we are different. Yeah? You know, just like in Babylon, outwardly, Daniel dressed like the world, moved like the world, spoke like the world, but inwardly, he was a holy man who read the Bible, prayed three times a day, who fasted, believed in prophecy, and got encounters. Just like Joseph, in Egypt, Egypt means the world. So here is a very good example. He looked Egyptian, such that his own brothers could not recognize him. Shave his head, put mascara, tattoos on his body, talk like the world, move like the world, behave like the world, but inwardly, he was a holy man of God. He was a hero of faith, a deliverer of God's people. 